All right, guys, welcome back to video number 29. And in this video tutorial, we are going to deal with four each loops again. And I think this is probably my last video of the night. So I'm going to try really hard to pay attention. It's almost three in the morning. And yeah, it's going to be difficult because this is probably one of the more difficult things we've had. We, we, we're going to have to grasp in PHP. So, okay, so in the last video, we created a variable that consisted of an array. And in this video, I'm going to create a variable that consists of an associative array. And we kind of talked about what this was in earlier videos. But I want to create this video to make it a lot more clear to you guys. So an associative array is an array that has elements, just like our last video. But each element has a key that is going to contain a value. So I'm going to go ahead and create an associative, an associative array. And I'm just going to leave this. I'm going to create a break tag. And, and if you guys are confused, this is just our code from the last video. So, okay, let's go ahead and create an associative array. So I'm going to use this variable as well. I don't want to go ahead and create. I do not want to create a new variable because I'm extremely lazy right now. So let's go ahead and create a for each loop. For each. And... Yeah, I guess we'll just go ahead and create our curly braces right now. So what we want to do is we want to use our variable again. We want to loop through all of our numbers. But we want to add a key. And what a key does, a key is the position that it's in. So remember, like, remember we talked about how computers start at 0 and humans start at 1. So 1 would be 0, 4 would be 1. No, 0 would be 1. 1 would be 4. 2 would be 5, 3 would be 8, 4 would be 15, 5 would be 54, and 6 would be 95. Okay, so we're going to create a position with these, and now we're going to equal our temporary number. And would we create it? Or our temporary variable, which was number. So let's go ahead and type in number. Let's go ahead and execute, or echo. How do I want to do this? I want to echo our key because I want 0 through 6 to uh, populate in our browser. So let's go ahead and echo our key. And let's concatenate. I want to add a semicolon so it gives us a little space. And I want to concatenate our number now, our temporary variable that we created. And I'm going to concatenate break tags. I might have to redo this video because there's probably a couple things I'm leaving out and I'm like a zombie right now. But if you guys have any questions, let me know and I'll get back to you. Okay, but keep in mind that we're creating a for each loop. So numbers is going to loop through our variable up here. And key is the position that each one of these is in. And it's going to create a value of our temporary variable. So if that's a lot to take in, again, our for each loops are going to make a lot more sense as time goes on. But if you guys can understand this, you can pretty much understand most things in PHP because it, this is one of the more difficult things. So I'm going to go ahead and save this, and I'm going to reload this in the browser. I'm going to pull this up a little bit. Let me stretch this out a little bit. I'm going to reload this. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. Okay, so our zero key, or our um, position, I'm sorry was 1, we knew that, 1 equals 4, 2 was 5, 3 is 8, 4 is 15, 5 was 54, and 6 is 95. So we just created a for each loop with an associative array, and remember associative arrays have keys as well as values. So this is our position, and this is the value of it. So the value, the position of 0 has a value of 1, the position of 1 has a value of 4, the position 2 has a value of 5. And good luck with this, guys, and I'll see you guys in the next video, and I hope you guys have a solid understanding of for each loops with associative arrays.